What's up guys, CKX123 HD here, welcome to episode 7 of Reuniting Czechoslovakia. Now, I am currently on a cruise ship, so I will not be able to answer your comments, but uh, please continue to leave comments down below, and when I get a chance, when I get home most likely, I will answer all of your comments. So, if you forgot, last episode we picked up Peter Morazic uh, for the goaltender here, and uh, it's been a big improvement so far. So, um, let's get into the first game of the episode, and it's actually against someone I know. Someone a lot of you guys may know, actually. It's, uh, TroyJ65 from Twitter. I don't know how many of you guys know him, but anyway, we are going to be playing him for the first, uh, game of the episode. Uh, I don't know how good he is. Hopefully he's not too good. But, uh, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so we're matched up against Troy. So let's get into the game and uh, hopefully come away with the win. I, I feel like I say that before every game. I need to find something new to say. That's getting old. He's got Tarasenko, Backstrom, I couldn't tell, I think Pavelski uh, on the other wing, on the left wing. So he's got a very, very good team here. Probably special cards as well. Uh, so I don't think this is going to go very well for us. Polanski one-timer. Oh, Adamski missed it. And that is the end of the first period. Uh, no real big standout opportunities for either side. He definitely has more sustained pressure uh, than I do, as you can see, by his two more shots and a minute more time on attack. Uh, but overall, it's kind of an even-ish game. Uh, I mean, the score is 0-0, and it should be 0-0. It's been a pretty solid defensive game, and uh, no one's really been able to have uh, a lot of good offensive opportunities. Ho ho ho, got lucky there. I think I uh, interrupted the pass a little bit there, I'm not sure but his, uh, his player couldn't get a handle on the puck, otherwise he had a wide open net. No! Oh, god damn it. That's all Mrazic's fault. He kind of, he poke checked, instead of like letting the puck go or trying to cover the puck, he poke checked it right to Camilleri, who had a wide open net for the backhand goal, and uh, Troy takes the one nothing lead. Ah, oh, damn it. One timer goal from Tarasenko, and now he leads two nothing. Uh, he challenged me to a fight, so I'm taking him on. Let's go. Kubis against Jonas Brodin. Let's win. At least, you know, we're probably not going to win this game, so at least we can win the scrap. Come on. I'm kind of lagging a bit. I'm not really quite sure uh, what's going on here. Nope, nope, nope. And nope, nope. Dodge, come on. Oh, it's a very, very laggy, laggy fight, so it's uh, hard to get the timing down. Kubis is like a whole like six inches shorter than uh, Brody, and it looks like at least. Oh no, dodge! No, no, there you go. No, no, and that's it. Yep. Hard to fight with uh, lag, but uh, we did lose the fight, unfortunately. No. Oh, nice save, Marazic. Uh, no, no, not. Oh, I thought that was a save. It hit the post. Alright, Sevich. Sevich, the defenseman. Oh, come on! Oh, Bishop just grabbed it off the goal line. Oh, ho, ho. he had a wide open net, just missed. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, I knew it, I knew it, I saw it coming too. 3 nothing, And that's the end of the second period. Not nearly as good of a period for us as the first period was. We're getting outshot 15 to 4. That is shocking. Oh wow, nice save by Mrazic. Mrazic's the only player on my team that's really showing up. Kubis, snipe it, nope. And uh, that's the end of the game right there. We lost 3 0, which means we have to lose a player. And uh, we kind of got destroyed completely in the second and third period. Uh, first period was a, a solid period, second and third period, not so much. So um, let's find out. Which player is leaving the squad? If it is Mrazic or Gabrik, I'm going to shoot someone. Not, not literally, please, please do not come to my house, thank you. Alright, all the players that are in my team are in this list here, and the player getting kicked from the team is... Richard Nezhishleb. Alright, not a big deal. Uh, he's that bronze guy. He doesn't get much chemistry anyway, and he's only a, an average player. Well, I mean, he's a below average player, but for my team, he's an average player. So, uh, let's go replace him and see what the squad looks like. 
So I replaced Nezhishleb with Kana, uh, remember him from like earlier on, yeah. Anyway, uh, I replaced Nezhishleb with him, moved him to the third line, moved Kubis up to the second line, and uh, let's get into the second game of the episode. Alright, Adamski, pass, goal, nope. Crap, 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 damn it! Oh, uh, we've been dominating all game, and I just, one mistake, and uh, he scores. Just because... I can't catch up. Once he gets a breakaway, there's no catching up with these slow, slow defenders. What the heck was that? Mrazic, come on, you're a gold goal. You're supposed to be better than that. Like, I'd expect that from Sindelar, but I expect more from you. Oh, come on! Mrazic, what is up with you? You're playing awful! Is there like a hole in your chest or something? Because that literally went right through you. Why are you so terrible this game? Oh, I get a cheap goal of my own there. I think Heike scored that. Still not forgiven for missing that wide open net. But uh, I don't know what happened there. It just went right through the five hole. And that's the end of the first period. Mrazic gave up some weak goals, his goalie gave up some weak goals, Mrazic gave up more weak goals, um, and the score is 3-1. to one. We're getting outshot 10-4, but time on attack is practically even. Definitely an even game, uh, despite this score. Nope. Oh, god damn it. 4-1. to one. Here we go. Go for that one-timer. Oh, that cross crease didn't work. Said lack. Nice pass from Sevic. Sedlak can't put it in the back of the net because of lag. I know, I don't usually blame lag, but you guys saw that. It lagged out right as I was getting that breakaway. I mean, it didn't lag out, lag out, like it just kind of lagged. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, I'm tired. <laughs> um, score is 4-1 to one at the end of the second period. I'm sure we're getting like outshot and outplayed. It's kind of a frustrating game. This guy likes watching replays, apparently. And there we go. We have more time on attack, believe it or not, but he's out shooting us 18 to 7. And the one that really matters is the score, and that is 4 to 1. At this rate, it looks like we're losing another player. Uh, yeah, that's definitely kicked in. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there is no way they let that stand. They, or they allow that to be a goal. Did they, did they count that? They counted that. Are you fucking kidding me? They counted that shit. Wow. So Vanek's goal, right, the one that's on the screen right now, that wasn't a goal, but that thing he just did was a goal, right? Vanek was a distinct kicking motion, but that wasn't? That's total horse shit, man. Jesus Christ. That's the most distinct kicking motion I've ever seen in my life. Goal. Oh my god, I can't buy a goal. You wanna fight, bro? Alright, let's go. Bring it on, Dan Girardi. Useless piece of crap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ready? Ready? Dodge. Dodge. Oh, nope, nope. I'm not good at dodging. Not good at dodging confirmed. Come on. Come on. Dodge. Dodge. That's not That's not what I wanted. I won the fight anyway. But uh, I, I wasn't controlling my player very well. Come on, break away, and that's going to be a penalty shot, please. Please? Please? Oh, come on! That's not a penalty shot, and that is... Oh, my God. That's not a penalty shot, and his goal wasn't a distinct kicking motion. These referees are on some kind of drugs, man. Oh, God damn it. Ah, uh, yep, goal. Woo, that's unusual. <sighs> I hate this game sometimes. I don't know why, this was probably a bad idea, I probably should have started with like only gold players or something, or at least like, high level silvers instead of like these crappy silvers that I'm using, cause this is brutal. Oh come on! That's going in? Through the five hole, really? Thank you. Finally. Oh my god getting particularly laggy. I'm gonna laugh really hard if he gets like a disconnect loss right now. That would be amazing. I don't think it's gonna happen though. There's only 10 seconds left. And game over. We lose. We lose another player. 
And I'm pretty sure I get, like, demoted down to Division 3 now. Everything's just going fantastic for me. Oh, no, not yet. Close. I guarantee you now we're gonna have to freaking get rid of Gabrick, because that's just how this episode's going. And, oh, thank God. He, he was freaking second. And Morazic was third, and Schuster was fourth. Jeez, they're just... They're giving me, like, a warning shot or something, I guess. Alright, so Kaderna's gone. He was on the fourth line anyway. Uh, let's just go replace him, and then we'll end this episode, this brutal episode. So I replaced Kaderna with Pertuzlek, or Pertuzlek, or however you say his name. As you can see here, he is now back in the lineup. So that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Uh, comment, I won't be able to respond until I get back from the cruise, but I will respond when I do get back, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.